Does your dog have bad breath? Do you think it's because of their teeth? They've got a whole bunch of tartar? Maybe you can't afford to go to your veterinarian. Well, in this video, I'm gonna use Tula, my little bad breath dog, dog as an example. We're gonna clean her teeth here uh, in my little studio and it's something that you could actually do at home with your pet. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video, I've got Tula who has, this is like the greatest breath. You know that thing, you're waking up and your little furry friend rolls over. This so happens to be Tula. Uh, she's gonna give you a little kiss and you're like, what is that bad smell? Well, the first thing, you know, if you have a dog, if you've got a pet that's got some pretty, pretty bad breath, like the first big thing is just take the time to look at your dog or cat's mouth, see what's going on in there and see if they've got, say, a, a rotten tooth, a substantial amount of tartar, gingivitis that is causing it. So we're gonna use Tula as an example. I'm gonna show you how to examine your dog or cat's mouth. And then we're gonna remove some of that tartar so I know her breath is gonna smell better. So Tula here, she's got a moderate, moderate amount of tartar here on her upper canine tooth and a substantial amount further back. When I look at her upper fourth premolar, also that carnasial tooth. And similar things are going on the other side. Look at that, that canine, that carnasial. And she does have a moderate amount of tartar. So first, before we get going in the video, ideally, you know, if your dog has enough tartar, periodontal disease, ideally you're seeing your veterinarian, you're getting them to professionally scale and clean those teeth. Um, but for many guys, they just got one or two teeth that are affected, maybe, you know, just a few teeth. And it's something at home where you can just lightly remove that tartar and instantly ha first have your dog's breath smelling better. Secondly, you know, decrease the rate of that dental disease and potentially actually improve their overall health because you're removing that bacteria or that dental term. So what are you gonna need uh, for this procedure? First thing, a dog who's somewhat willing, Tula is. Um, a real nice thing, and I've gone ahead earlier, and just to give your dog some type of mild sedative. With Tula, I've gone ahead just given her a little bit of valerian. I gave her about one cc of valerian. So she's a little bit calmer, a little less sort of, has a little less anxiety than normal. Secondly, you need a few instruments. So here's about three different dental instruments. These are scaling instruments. I actually just went to my dentist, asked them if they have instruments that they throw out, and they do all the time. Because you know, they're routinely scaling our teeth, the tips get sharpened, eventually they lose their, the edge that they're happy with in terms of scaling your, yours or my teeth. Um, but that would be a fine thing to use on your dog and or your cat. And as well too, if you've got some big sort of chunks of tartar, uh, in de dental practice, we had a special type of plier that I would actually go along the side of the tooth, it would sort of grip onto that tartar and I'd crack big chunks of it off. But here I've just got an inexpensive pair of needle nose pliers. So the free ones, the pliers, we get all our equipment here for about $10. So this big chunk of tartar here on the carnasial tooth, I'm gonna see if I can just pull some of that off uh, just with one of the little, the scaling instruments. See if we can just remove a big chunk of that. Having Tula feel a lot better. A little instrument here. Good girl Tula. And you can hear the turtle going. Good girl Tula. You can see it flying off. The other thing I have is some gauze, a little bit of water. Um, it's not abnormal to see a bit of bleeding, especially on the edge of the gum line. And think of the last time you had your teeth clean. You know, I just did yesterday. I had a substantial amount of bleeding going on and I'm pretty diligent about brushing my teeth. Um, I also want to show you here, this is the actual dental instrument itself. So it's got, almost looks like a sort of a, and see this L-shaped to it? I think you can see it in the picture there. And it's got an edge on it where it's sharp. So you can actually angle it on the edge of the tooth and push down or get on top of it and pull down to try to take, take away some of that tartar. So let's just show you here. <coughs> Girl, Girl Tula. 
Oh, you're a good girl. Not all of you guys are gonna have pets that are gonna let you do this. Tula's being very, very trusting. So let's just see here with her tartar on this tooth here. Let's make sure we got the right edge. There's a bit of an edge here. We're just trying to take that tartar off that canine tooth. So I'm starting at the gum line, I'm pushing my way down. And as I do that, you can actually see that good girl Tula. You can actually see the, the turret coming off. There you can see there's a little bit, there's some blood there on her canine tooth. So just go ahead and use that gauze and just wipe it up. Good girl, it's okay. You just mean she's got a moderate amount of gingivitis. What this is telling me is I'm unlikely going to have to be taking Tula in within the next year, getting her completely scaled. But in the interim, I'm not totally ready to do that yet. And I'm going to see how much tartar I can take off now, get her breath feeling better, her mouth a bit healthier, and then likely within the year get her, she'll have to go under anesthesia to be, have a dental scaling and polishing. Good girl. The big point I also want to leave you with is you know, if you're looking at getting a, a type of dental instrument, you know, something like that we have this here, where it's got an edge on one side, you can go start at the gum line, pull your way down, or start below the gum line, slightly pulling up. Ideally starting at the gum line like this, you know, and you're just pulling down, it's got an edge that's sharp, and, and you, can, you can hear it as it's sort of scraping on the edge of the enamel, but pulling away all that tartar. You know, it, is it ideal in terms of compared to a dental scaling and polishing? Well, no, it's not. But is it a lot better, in my opinion, than just leaving that tartar? Darn right, it's so much better. Just get rid of that tartar. Think of the tartar as bacteria that could potentially help harm your dog. Is it a good idea for us to have bacteria, you know, sitting in our mouth, waiting to migrate its way in our bloodstream to our heart? Of course it's not. Likewise with your dog. All right, little Tula, thank you. Aw. She's done with this. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this edition of Entering Secrets. If you have to do so, I encourage you to subscribe by clicking up there. Then I want you to go ahead, click that link in the box below, and then when you do that, and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your dogs at home with my top natural remedies.